So in today's video, we're going to be comparing these two very well-known SBCs. On the right, we have an Orange Pi 5B with 16 gigabytes of RAM. And on the left, we have a Raspberry Pi 5 with eight gigabytes of RAM. So today's video is going to focus on how these two perform running Phi 3 Mini. In the tech jungle, the Orange Pi lies in wait Circuits humming with power, nearby the Raspberry Pi 5 fidgets, unaware of the challenge ahead. Both prepare for battle. All right, so the Pi is up and running. Now, unfortunately, I am not able to screen record during this because running OBS would just be more of a constraint on system resources, and I want to keep it as lightweight as possible. So all I'm going to do here simply, and I will zoom in and show the screen, is... Olama Run 53.8B Mini, 53.3.8, 4K Instruct Q4 O. So this is the 4-bit quant, and once I press enter, it will start going. And once that's done, it will kind of take a while to get everything loaded and set up. So once that happens, we'll start chatting. All right, so it seems like the model is loaded. And you can see that it's asking me to send a message. So I am just going to do a very simple default question, which is going to be, what is a laptop? And the response will happen now live in real time. And we can see it is going at a reasonable speed. Now understand this is a smaller model in terms of parameters, but this is a large improvement over what I've noticed on the 4B. So, and the point of this video is kind of just to show you the speed differential between the two and then kind of explain some of the nuances between running it on the Pi or running it on an orange Pi or something else with the rock chip processing unit. So I'll just kind of let this finish. All right, so we can see that the generation has completed and it was a bit slower than you would want to actually be reading something. However, I would absolutely not call this like just uselessly slow or anything like that. I would say performance here, especially for someone who's just kind of interested in playing with LLMs on a Pi is definitely, definitely more than adequate. And this is a rather decent model, I would say. As you can see, the response is lucid and gives just kind of some general information, perhaps a bit out of date, like mentioning um, Mac OS Monterey or something like that. But other than that, pretty solid. So now we'll pop over and try the Orange Pi. Okay, so we now have the Orange Pi 5 loading up and you can see that I've pushed this keyboard out of the way and it is loading Ubuntu and this is 2024.04 LTS. However, it is a version I found on GitHub that supposedly has the correct drivers and setup to actually take advantage of the neural processing unit in this little chip here. So that's kind of a long-winded way to say that the way to actually use this right now is going to be to SSH into it, which is why I have this laptop here. So for the remainder of the testing of the Orange Pi 5, we're actually going to just be in a shell in SSH from this laptop. So. We'll do that. All right. Now, I suppose we could kind of immediately say that this is one negative against the Orange Pi is just the fact that you can't really use it from the desktop like we did with the Raspberry Pi. So just kind of a little bit of a pain. And just to show here real quick, you can see the Orange Pi is right there off to the right side. And now we'll go back in here and I will zoom in. And we'll just kind of go ahead and do the same thing we did on Raspberry Pi, which is test Phi 3 Mini. So I just navigate into this directory. And again, this isn't a tutorial video. It's just kind of a comparison test. So please keep that in mind when I do like actually go through the setup stuff here. Now, something I quickly want to note is there are a lot less models available for running on this specific architecture. And one of the differences in this test that 
that leads to is that this model here of Phi 3 that I'm using is an 8-bit quant, and the one that was being used on the Pi 5 is, on the Raspberry Pi 5, is a 4-bit quant. So without getting super technical, um, I, I suppose pretend like <laughs> we're playing Halo and we're on the Blood Gulch map in multiplayer. The 4-bit quant is just kind of like seeing that map with less detail, but you're still on the same map. And then the 8-bit quant that the Orange Pi is using is kind of being on that map and you're seeing a bit more detail, but again, you're still on the same map. So it's probably like a, a janky explanation, but just kind of something to keep note of in terms of a comparison. Um, I want to be as fair as possible. All right. So the model's loaded in, and as I did before, I'm just going to go ahead and say, what is a laptop? Sorry, I'm typing with my wrong hand and one-handed, so that's why. All right. And we can see here that the response time is a lot faster. Really, like, a lot faster. And this model is actually technically a bit more challenging to run in terms of the required specifications. So being that this is a 16 gigabyte of RAM model of the Orange Pi, that is kind of assisting here in actually running this and allowing a 8-bit quant like this to run. So what I'm saying is hypothetically, if this was running the 4-bit quant that the Raspberry Pi 5B was running, it would actually be generating faster than this. Now, something I have noticed and heard is that the actual output of this can be kind of a little, um, if you will, non-lucid. So like you can see here, it just, um, it's actually showing like things it shouldn't be in here in the generation, like the end and the assistant. And things like that and then it also kind of sometimes has a tendency to begin speaking to itself so definitely kind of a bit different um, and I would say just from an ease of use standpoint it is much better to just go with the Pi 5 <laughs> the Raspberry Pi 5 so that's gonna go ahead and conclude our quick testing of the orange Pi 5b and the Raspberry Pi 5 in running LLMs I think overall, if you're someone who just kind of wants to mess around with this and doesn't want to have to do a lot of extra work or troubleshooting or anything like that, the Pi 5 is totally the way to go. If you are perhaps a developer or somebody looking for a really niche use case for an SBC that requires just the maximum amount of performance, I would go with the Orange Pi. For example, I am kind of thinking about taking this little arcade here and running a small local LLM based game on it. And in that scenario, I would totally use the Orange Pi 5 just because I could get a little more power out of it. And obviously I would have to contend with not being able to use the desktop and stuff like that. But with that said, I think for probably 95% of those of us out there, if you want to do some LLM stuff and you have a Pi 5, you're going to be more than happy with playing around with it. So. I hope this was helpful. I figured it was a video I would make considering I got a Pi 5 and want to kind of do some benchmarking on it. So, yeah.